Something you need to understand about systems to do with, whether it's a machine or your body, is that not all of the input energy is useful. Very few systems are 100% efficient. Useful energy is the energy transferred to where it's wanted, whereas wasted energy is energy transferred to where it's not. Pretty self explanatory The wasted energy is dissipated to the surroundings. Dissipated is a key word and means spread out. So the wasted energy is spread out and stored in less useful ways. For example, in a hoover, the useful energy is used to suck up dirt in the carpets, but the energy which is not useful is dissipated into the surroundings as sound waves create in the horrible loud sound. Looking at machines, the friction between parts causes energy to be wasted and dissipated into the surroundings as thermal energy. We can actually calculate the efficiency of a system provided we know the input and output energies. The input energy is the total energy supplied to the device. The useful energy transferred by the system is called the useful output energy. Due to the principle of conservation of energy, the total input energy will always equal the useful output energy plus the energy wasted by the system. The efficiency for any system that transfers energy is calculated by the useful output energy transferred by the device divided by the total input energy supplied to the device. Both are measured in joules, don't forget. A side note is that systems can be more than 100% efficient and very few are 100% efficient. The rest of the video is now for high tier students only. To increase the maximum speed of racing cars and planes, manufacturers will produce them with streamlined bodies. Producing vehicles with streamlined bodies reduces the air resistance acting upon them. Air resistance causes a force to oppose the vehicle's movement. We can actually increase the efficiency of different systems in a number of ways. In machines, friction between moving parts is an issue as it causes energy to become wasted as heat. If the friction is reduced there will be less heating so more of the energy input is used as useful energy. In large machinery, the amount of sound created can be reduced by tightening loose parts.